Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to split and horizontally stack values using the let, text split, if, and the to call functions. So let's get started. By the way, if you have not joined this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on bell icon to get notifications. So let's dive in. This is our sample data set. It contains two columns of account manager and the total values, which is separated by what is called a single pipe. Now our goal is simple. First and foremost, we want to split all these total values for each of these account manager into different columns and then we're going to horizontally stack them together and of course this data set is officially stored as an excel table after writing the formula we're going to add some supplementary data and we expect the formula to update dynamically so without much talking let's dive in we'll select cell d1 and write the formula from inside out using the text plate the contacts and then we're going to introduce the let function and the to call function as well as the if function so let's do that so equal sign i'm going to type in the text split now the text split basically splits text into rows or columns using a specified delimiters i'm going to press the tab key now the text split requires two compulsory arguments which are the text and the column delimiter. Now the row delimiter, ignore empty, match mode, and pad width are optional arguments in square brackets. So for the text argument here, I'm going to introduce the concat function. Now the concat function concatenates a list or range of text strings. So press the tab key. So for the text one, I'm going to give this value here. That is the total sales, which is separated by single pipe so i'm going to use what's called the ampersand and because i actually want to split into different columns i'm going to do inside double quotes iphone then close the double quote and then i can close the concat and then i can put in a comma for the text split call delimiter now you can easily see that these values are separated by what is called a single pipe so inside double quotes I'm going to factor in my single pipe, put in a comma. Now for the row delimiter optional arguments, I'm going to put double quotes with the iPhone because I'm going to split to different columns and then I close that and I can close this and control enter. And that's amazing. You can see we've been able to split. However, we have some NA errors here. Now what I'm going to do is come back to the top cell and then come right here put in a comma so the ignore empty argument i'm going to specify yes please ignore all the empty cells then i'm going to just put in one and control enter you can see that i've been able to take care of all the any errors that's amazing now we're not done these values are treated as what is called text or string they are actually not numbers for example when i choose let me use each number function to check whether these actual numbers or not. Close parenthesis, control enter, I can see it returned false because they are actually not numbers. Now, what I'm going to do is to coerce these values to be returned as numbers. Now, carefully, I'm going to open the formula, double click, and I'm going to use what's called double negative. You can even multiply the whole thing by one or by plus one that's fine but i'm going to use double negative okay and then i can control enter you can see we have them as numbers now and the is number function returned true i'm going to delete this so open the formula once again now i'm going to introduce the let function so type in let so for the let I need to give names i'm just going to call it variable by the way you know that you can actually use whatever you want as your name within the let function so i'm going to use the variable so this is going to be the name or the value that is attached to this variable so i'm going to come right in here put in a comma so for the calculation i'm going to use the h stack function now the h stack 
horizontally stacks arrays into one array. So press the tab key. So for the array one, I'm going to use the toe call function. So for the toe call, it requires array also. I'm going to put in the if function. So for the if function, it requires the logical test. So in this case, I'm going to throw in the variance or the VAR name that I defined here. Put in a comma. And for the value, if true, I'm going to give all these account managers. Now, what this is going to do is that for all the rows that we are splitting, it's going to horizontally stack them based on the account manager so that we can have Abela David 3, 2, 1, 4, Abela David 6, 5, 6, 4, 5, and so on, 6, 5, 4, Abela David 4, 4, 3, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to close the if here, and then we are back to the to call close this for now and it's going to be the array one so we need one one more which is the array number two put in a comma so for the array two i'm going to just use the to call function and then i'm going to pass in this same var name press the tab key okay um let us click okay on this and then we're going to close the to call and close the h tag and finally we want to close the let function so this is our formula all things being equal is going to work so let's see the moment of truth so control enter that's amazing so we've been able to successfully split and horizontally stack the values okay now let's press the control down arrow key and see the last value you can see the last name is radius stable with 9100 as the total sales which is exactly what we have here now i'm going to go back up and let's add these two data as the supplementary control c and let's come here down arrow key control v you can see the table automatically expand to incorporate the newly added values so when i scroll down you can see we have john smith adam enoch and these are the values so if you check everything you can see that they are actually working pretty fine you can see for abiola david the first value is three two one four three two one four followed by six five four six five four and so on and so forth now let's just let's see we want to dynamically add the account managers <clears throat> I mean, account manager and the total sales headers so i can come to the top cell here Control up arrow key, double click. I can use the V stack function, and then for the array number one, I'm going to give this headers here, put in a comma, and then I can come right in here. I can even press Control Shift U to expand the formula bar, and I can come here and close the V stack formula and Control Enter, Control Shift U to collapse the formula bar. Okay, so you can see we have the dynamic headings or the headers in the formula so this is basically how we can split and values using the let text split if and the to call functions now in the next video i'm going to show you how to do this in the power query so if you like this video give the thumbs up comment share and subscribe to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers